be, so I can see myself here for, for at least another year. However, um, after having a lot of interaction with the staff that is traveling with us right now, I'm very, very interested in continuing my, my stay with other people, possibly in a staff position. And Up With People staff say students take home leadership skills, host family memories, and they also have a better understanding of the people that keep this world in motion. All humanity. It was the night the lights came on. Not too long ago, 16 motion light displays in Queen Victoria Park and elsewhere along the parkway were set ablaze. And guess what? You have a front row seat for this year's wonderful winter festival of lights. Four, three, two, one. The Winter Festival of Lights Committee has a way of sprucing up everyone's Christmas. Alongside the mild weather, fireworks, and a Disney show, 80,000 Christmas lights were lit. Festival of Lights Sergio Felicetti says since 1983, the festival has been a magnet for visitors on both sides of the Canada-U.S. border. In 1981, the uh, U.S. side, actually, Niagara Falls, New York, started up uh, what they called a Festival of Lights. There was a group of businessmen from uh, Niagara Falls, New York, that went to the Simcoe Lights, got the idea, and they started on the U.S. side, and it became uh, an instant success. And so the, um, the businessmen on this side of the border thought uh, it made natural sense that we'd uh, create one here in Niagara Falls. And uh, as they say, from that point on, the rest was history. Many come to the falls every year to see the lights ignite. There are nearly 40,000 onlookers flooding Queen Victoria Park for the opening night. Felicetti says this was the largest gathering to date. This past opening, we attracted at least 30 to 35,000 people in the park, and it was, we felt maybe even a little busier than New Year's Eve. It was just incredible. I've seen a lot of people in the park at many events over the 12 years, but I have to say tonight, with the weather and with the Disney characters, uh, I estimate there must have been 40,000 people. I've never seen as many people and enjoying themselves in the park as there was tonight. Literally, they were lined up on the highways coming into the city. Many people couldn't even get it in, so we're going to have to make provisions for that in the new year. But... Disney folk of Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, and others danced, sang, and frolicked in Twas the Night Before Christmas, and the crowd loved it, regardless of the cool November air. Uh, I'm from Oshawa, and uh, it's really good. It's good for the kids, and it seems like everyone's having a good time. Um, it's good to see. It's good to see it down here, and lots of people turned out. I'm from Orange County, California, and I think it was great. It was really um, interesting. It was like Disneyland, but it's funny to see it down in, up here in Canada. I'm from Scarborough, and it's, we're having a great time. The weather's been nice. I just wish it was like this for Halloween. <laughs> and Niagara Falls will be on the map again this New Year's Eve. Canada's national New Year's broadcast will be live from the falls, right here at Centre Festival Stage. Sure. I feel like I'm drunk. Now, New Year's, of course, is going to see a bigger audience anyway because of the uh, live nationwide broadcast. That's going to be quite exciting, I'd imagine. That's going to be fantastic. We're going coast to coast. It's our first year. Last year we didn't have BC, but they're in this year, which is tremendous. And uh, that gives us an estimated audience uh, viewing audience of over 12 million people. And last year we had 2 million people tune in, and it was a number one rated show. It has been for the past two years. and. Uh, it's just been a tremendous success, you know. The falls and the one on the Skyline Tower at midnight, so there's uh, three, uh, two different points. Entertainment hits the Winter Festival of Lights in the pocketbook. The New Year's show, for example, is the biggest and most expensive item. 
the the entertainment on New Year's Eve to produce that New Year's Eve show. That's uh, that's a very big item, and also the production and uh, just the stage setup. It's very expensive. Now th all these items do go out to tender. Uh, we tender these uh, big big ticket items out so that we uh, you know we do the best we can. Over one million dollars is budgeted every year, with numerous sponsors lending a hand. Well, the total budget for this project is uh, in excess of one million dollars. Now, that that is not a cash budget. We have uh, a cash budget of approximately seven hundred thousand dollars, and the rest is uh, services in kind. So that uh, we can actually heat the stage area using the, the propane. Approximately 250 people make the Winter Festival shine. They do everything from setting up stage to working directly behind the scenes at the Winter Festival of Lights offices. Bailey says every year the festival gets easier to plan, but as more events are at it, more work goes with the territory. Uh, you can see the stage here. It's a, it's a major staging production, and uh, we require a lot of uh, work to get this put up. And I have to say we've had some tremendous support from one, of, one volunteer group in particular in this particular project, and that's the Stanford High School students. Uh, they've done a tremendous job helping us uh, get this stage erected. Um, traditionally, uh, we had a lot of indoor events when we first started, but again, over the last three years, and specifically the last two, we erected uh, a permanent stage during the eight weeks. And uh, last year we had uh, a Disney show, for the first time and we had our New Year's Eve celebration uh, for the fir uh, second time actually and uh, this year we've added more outdoor concerts, we have a country show, we have magic shows so we've tried to fill each weekend throughout the course of the festival so there's something to attract people from, uh, from uh, outside the Niagara region uh, to stay overnight and uh, that's what it's all about. The magic and mystery behind the Winter Festival of Lights attracts thousands of people to Queen Victoria Park every year. These 15 different displays, plus others along the parkway, will stay lit until January the 14th.